Hello everybody and welcome to lesson four of study with twilight. Now the only thing that's going to make this episode different, two actually, two things. One, we're not going to be using the internet to research the subject because it's fairness and friendship so we already know about it anyway. And two, all of the main six are here. Of course, my main helper, Twilight, will be on screen the whole time. And the other five members of the main six will come up when they're needed. So, I'll see, uh, Twilight. Okay. It's obviously, she represents the most important element of friendship, magic. Now, fairness and friendship. Friendship couldn't actually exist without fairness, which should be the seventh element, really. I see Twilight agrees. So it should be the seventh element, but it isn't. And it also couldn't exist without forgiveness, which should be the eighth element. But that's not one either. So, the fairness and friendship. Friendship in my Little Pony Friendship is Magic is split into six sections. Magic, as, you've all, as we've already established. Uh, then we have Generosity, which is very well represented, sorry Rarity, by this unicorn mare here, Rarity. Now, in the second episode of Friendship is Magic, she displays her lord, uh, sorry Rarity, her generosity by helping a sea serpent replenish his moustache. And yes, her cutie mark is three diamonds, but her special talent is Finding gemstones. Well, the reason Twilight has a magic star for her cutie mark is that her special talent is magic. Now, of course, generosity couldn't exist without its main companion. Well, actually, without any of its main companions at its side. Kindness, as represented by Fluttershy, the cutest pony of the lot. Her special talent is talking to animals, and why her cutie mark is free butterflies. In the second episode, she displays her kindness by helping a manticore relieve its paw of a thorn and taming it. As Twilight has very rightly pointed out, she also has the convincing a dragon to leave its cave to her credit from the episode Dragon Shy. Oh yes, I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. Don't worry, Flash Eye. And then there's also the time Discord had her break her element. I'm surprised she actually remembered that. And then there was also Iron Will who did the same thing. Gave her bad advice. So, that's generosity and kindness done and out of the way. The next element friendship could not exist without is one 
for is, is Honesty, presented very well by Applejack here. And of course her destiny was to work on an apple farm and her cutie mark is three apples. Now in the second episode she displays her honesty while trying to reassure Twilight here that she wouldn't fall to her death from a cliff. What I'm telling you is the honest truth. Yes, Applejack. Oh. <laughs> well there, Nelly. Okay, guys. But honesty is another key element of friendship. So you must be honest with your friends. And if they need reassuring, they need it from you. Okay, now, the fifth such element that friendship could not exist without is, of course, laughter. As presented here by Pinkie Pie. He has a lot of laughter added to her credit for her element simply because well, she's there to cheer any pony up who's down in the dumps and show them a good time now the very first thing she did after seeing the sonic rain boom in her flashback in the cutie mark chronicles episode was she threw her family a party and that's how she earned her cutie mark the three blooms. One yellow and two blue. Another key element of friendship is being able to make your friends laugh, even if you're not trying to. And I see Pinky agrees. And the first thing she treats us to in the series is a random song about conquering your fears with laughter. But one of my favourite Pinky moments was when she tried to make friends with Cranky in A Friend Indeed. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Pinky. Well, plenty of time for hugs later, okay? And the final element is another one of the most important when it comes to friendship because you must show loyalty as presented here by Rainbow Dash. In the second episode, that's Friendship is Magic Part 2, she shows this to her friends by refusing to abandon them for her dream of becoming a Wonderball after being almost tempted by Nightmare Moon's elite team of flyers, the Shadow Bolts. Now, she first performed the Sonic Rain Boom as a little filly and realised that her destiny was to control the weather, hence her cutie mark, the cloud with a lightning shaped rainbow. And other loyal moments include, yep, Rainbow, I'm getting there. I know I'm about to list more of your moments of loyalty, despite that being your element. Okay, Rainbow Dash. Um, she also has two well-known catchphrases. One of them being, I am awesome, or that is awesome, and 
it needs to be about 20% cooler. No, it doesn't. This is cool enough already. <laughs> Loyalty, as I said, is one of the most important elements of friendship. But none of these five elements down here could exist without magic. The most important element of friendship. Now, friendship obviously it does have its ups and downs at times. Like say sometimes, even though you're supposed to have fairness in friendship, sometimes it might seem unfair. But we'll get to that later. Now, as I understand it, Rarity wants to come up and say something. So, Rarity. I believe you wanted to come up and say something. I didn't talk about any of the favourite moments from you. Well, this is meant to be a lesson about fairness and friendship. Yes, Twilight? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, some of my favourite rarity moments include... When she first helped a sad creature, that's in uh, Friendship is Magic Part 2. That's the Manticorn again. Um, some of my other favourite moments from this lovely little mare here is episode 19 of season 1. When she's in the diamond, sorry, in the crystal mine with the diamond dogs. And well, they call her a mule and complain at her to stop moaning or stop whining. It doesn't surprise you that that's one of my favourite moments or rarity. I think it's entertaining when you whine. And a very touching but also favourite moment from season 2 is when Rarity realises how wrong she was to want to get rid of Sweetie Belle after seeing her Arts and Crafts project. Okay, now some of my favourite Twilight moments. I've got to talk about Twilight. Some of my favourite Twilight moments include... Well, this must be a lesson about fairness and friendship. Get on with it. Okay, okay, Twilight. <laughs> Some of my favourite Twilight moments include... When she was stressing out about being tardy with a report to Princess Celestia worrying that she was going to get sent back a grade to Magic Kindergarten but needless to say that didn't happen and I have to say another one of my favourite moments of her would be when she realised how important it was to have friends. And these five down here. Her best friends. Now your best friend is the most important friend you'll ever have. So basically if you don't have a best friend. Then well. You don't know what you're missing out on. But to have five best friends, no, that is something. Now, 
Now, uh, some of my favourite Rainbow Dash moments. Okay. Uh, might be a bit hard to choose. Some of my favourite Rainbow Dash moments would be... Okay, one of them, I know for sure, would be when you first meet her in the series. How she introduces herself. Or how we are introduced to her. Another favourite moment is in Wonderbolt Academy when she chooses to give up her dream for her friends. Okay, now... Some of my favourite Applejack moments, I know, well, personal favourite is in Applebuck season, when she refuses to let her friends help her, in a time of desperate need. And of course, who can forget, when she tried to buff all those apples off the trees at the beginning, not heeding Big Macintosh's warning. Yup. She eventually did accept her friend's help. How do you like them apples? Anyway, um, now, some of my favourite Fluttershy moments. I think I've already mentioned these. But, some of her cutest moments include. Oh, Fluttershy! And yes, okay. Bravest moments. I've already mentioned those. But she has way more than that to her credit. So, okay, fairness and friendship. They go hand in hand together. And if it hadn't been for Twilight in the first place, big nod here from the first episode, or the second episode, um, would be when she helped these five to realise how important they are. That they each represent one of the six elements, or in this case other five elements, of friendship. Yes. Now... So that would be, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell this in the exact order it happens, but that would be Rainbow Dash, who would not abandon her friends for her dreams, represents the spirit of loyalty. Pinkie Pie, who taught us to laugh in the face of danger represents the spirit of laughter. Applejack who reassured Twilight of her safety when she was about to fall off a cliff represents the element and spirit of honesty as we've already established. Fluttershy! Oh, bless you. You tamed... Oh, what should it be? A fearsome beast. The manticorn. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Represents... The spirit of kindness and rarity. You calm the serpent with a wonderful gift. Represents the spirit of generosity. Uh, 
and Twilight, obviously she represents the spirit of magic, the most important and key aspect of friendship. And, okay guys, that's the end of today's le tonight's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.